Okay, hello everybody. Uh, today I've got a Reeves Space Cowboy on the bench. Uh, this is a 2 KT77 output amp. It would probably be about, I don't know, 50 60 watts. I haven't double checked that part, but I just wanted to show you the layout of this guy. It's pretty clean. Um, the You can't quite see this front side as well down in here. Uh, but that's what connects into the output tube. So I'll probably try and adjust into a slightly different shot so you can see that as well. But you can see the preamp section power there on the right side uh, with the light bulb. It comes down to a small rectifier setup right here with a uh, small solid state device for controlling power. And that sends off over to the relays, which are here. And there's another small one up here um, that handle the switching. And it's kind of interesting the way he's done this is those relays are kind of done in what's called dead bug style where they kind of glued the top down and then leave the pins up and have connected the pins in and the same with this one is off to the side. One of them is a like a boost and the other one is the reverb. So uh, I'll adjust the shot here in a second and give you a little bit more top down shot just of the power side and the, uh, you can kind of see them right here, the filtering, but uh, uh, I'll try and adjust this a little bit so you can see that a little better. Okay, so right here now you can see the power side. Um, this is, the two, these are the two power tubes. There is the, this is the bias pot right here. You've got the filter caps there as well. And then this leads over to the fuses right here. And then over back used to the, the this is the transformer power selector. You can't see it very well. Let me slide that over just a little more which is connected in here in the back. And then on this end here is the mains power. So I've got that hooked up. So what I'm gonna do here, I'll step this back to that distance view a little bit. I'm gonna try, one of the things that the customers asked for here is that it's getting hum with the reverb on, if I recall only, and I heard it definitely. I'll have to see if I can reproduce that idea, but I'm not gonna plug it to a speaker right away. I'm plugging it to a dummy load because I just want to try and get a, a sense of where things are before I go further than that. So I'll show you where we're at in a minute. Okay, so the one thing that you can probably now hear, <clears throat> I've got it all hooked up, I hooked up the reverb. The source of the buzz is the boost, not the reverb. So you hopefully can hear that, you got a little bit of a hum of my, I've got my oscilloscope behind, but uh, right now it's hooked up. I had a sine wave inputting into it, I don't see any dirt on the line, but when I uh, adjust this reverb, nothing. But the second I put the boost on, hear that nice buzz, so I've got to try and track down What's causing that buzz? I wonder if I do figure it out, I will let you know. But uh, I gotta try and understand what's causing it. So I'll probably the first thing I'll end up doing is chopsticking around. So find my chopstick and start poking in here, see what we get. All right, first of all, I apologize. I've got a bit of a head cold. But uh, if you look at this image here, I, I forgot to record, but I finally uh, figured out what the issue was. If you look at this image here on the top, there's a problem where the grounding, that actually the tip pin on the grounded or switched side of this jack was not grounded. So the fix actually ended up being just that top open tab you see with nothing. I wired it, a jumper between it and the back one that's kind of uh, visible there on the back side that you see the grounding bus going through. And that pretty much solved all of the sound issues. So uh, I did, uh, I was chopsticking around and noticed that the top resistor that's much smaller as you can see the old one, which was one of the same ones below, was making a massive amount of noise just touching it. I'd, um, I'd assumed that was due to the problems with the uh, re resistor itself, so I swapped it with the, the existing one that you see now. But that still didn't solve the problem, although it got quieter. Um, but then sw solving that other issue resolved it completely. So there you have it, everybody. Uh, pretty simple fix once I got done with it. But uh, at least you get a good shot of the guts of this thing, and I apologize for missing that last part of the video. Thanks for watching.